I have been working in the insurance slash financial industry for almost three years now. And after dozens and dozens of seminars I have attended, I've noticed these common recommendations that most of the speakers are preaching. All right, let me just pause you there. Shut the time again, seriously. Let me first change the music. Then let's begin. Number one on this list is a healthy cash flow, meaning you are making more than your necessary expenses. If you'll ask me, uh, how much is a healthy cash flow? For me, for as long as sumasobra yung kita mo na at least 10 to 20 percent of your uh, income more than dun sa expenses mo, that is good enough para meron ka pa for your savings, for your investments, and for your insurances. For now, let's move on to the next topic. First of all, not all debt are bad debt. If you could make more money out of your debt that includes its interest, then that is a good debt. Now, most of the time, most people are engaged in bad debt due to poor budgeting because they buy something that they can't really afford. I would love to discuss more on how you could reduce and eliminate your debt, but that's for another video. For now, just a general rule of thumb, stay away from expenses or debt na you're not willing to pay. Emergency fund is a fund that you build and spend just for emergencies. It's not something you spend to buy an item that you really want that just got on sale with 50% off. That's not an emergency. Typically, you stock 3-6 to six months worth of your monthly salary into a separate savings account or maybe a money market fund where you could easily get your money once an emergency arises. For the more frugal person or a more cautious person, I suggest build your emergency fund up to a year of your income para lang if the option or dumating yung choice na you want to leave your job kasi hindi ka na masaya or you want to pursue your passions you could do so without any hesitation get a health and life insurance from a trusted company insurance products provides you security from the uncertainties getting sick and losing a life can cost a lot so be sure to get an insurance that is adequate with regards to your needs. Additional tip in getting insurance products, get insurance products from advisors or agents that you trust. Say I believe na, and I think na more than the product, you deserve good quality service. So ayun, that's just an additional tip. Now let's talk about equity investments. Equity investments may vary from mutual fund, UITF, or up to share of stocks. These investment instruments can give you great returns but at the same time, it carries risk that is generally proportional to its potential gains. One of the best tips they give for the uninformed investor is to invest regularly and invest for the long term for more than 10 years. That strategy is called cost averaging. For the equity investments, uh, pag-aralan mo munang maigay yung investment na kukunin mo before mo pirmahan. Kasi at the end of the day, uh, sa'yo naman din yung investment na yan. So yun. Just a general rule of thumb, take everything na makukuha mo with a grain of salt. And yun, continuous learning. There's a lot more to discuss with regards to this topic. But for now, let's just end it here. If you want to have a conversation, just leave a message or comment in the comment section down below. And I'll try to respond to you. Alright, this is it for now. Bye!